When you first start out in this business, there's a few realities you need to take into account. First of all, it doesn't happen quickly. An overnight success in this business is five to ten years, sometimes even longer. I'll tell you, between my first voice job and my second voice job was nearly two years. So you need to be patient and have some sort of means of support while you're getting your adventure in voice acting going. There's a reason why a lot of actors wait tables and, and work as substitute teachers. These kind of jobs provide a little bit of flexibility so you can go to auditions and do occasional voice jobs and also provide enough cash and money and income if you're working at the right place in order to pay your bills. But be patient. It's going to take a while. Uh, not only for you to find a job, but for the people in the town that you're working in to get to know you and get to trust you and for you to build the skills you need in order to work at a regular basis. Speaking of that, you don't need to move to the big town. You don't need to go to Los Angeles or, or New York in order to start a, a voice acting career. Generally, you can start it right where you live right now. In nearly every major city and most small cities in America, there's voiceover work. Local radio stations, local television stations, local ad agencies. There's work for you there if you're willing to go after it. And, and frankly, you're not going to make a lot of money, but you're going to get some experience, and that's really what's important. So my suggestion to you is, if you're going to start at your adventure in voice acting, start it at home. See if you can get an agent in your town and build up enough experience so that when you finally do make the move to the major cities, you're ready to go, you have a background of experience, a body of work, and a little bit of confidence to make your adventure work for you.